So we're out second ZSB. This one's for Richard. And he has said to give him a call uh, or give him a name. So this is Richard's bike, ZSB. So second ZSB we're riding today, identical colours, absolutely perfect. While we're down here, back down at Dobby's, because RB Bridge is shut down, they're working on the level crossing, so I've got to come down here. Let's have a butcher's at the sticker board. It's coming along, it's nearly halfway there, look. And we've got the new one from Bikes, Beards and Brews down the bottom. So if you've got a sticker and you're a motor vlogger, bring it down here, whack your stickers on the board, look for the big green charging hut, it's tucked in in the corner and he's polished it, he's put some silicon spray on, my man's been out this morning and cleaned everything and made it look good. I did pop down a couple of weeks ago with some wildflower seeds, I thought, there's a bit of mud there, let's put some wildflowers up, look at that, little remembrance garden for the fallen, there yeah, we've got all the poppies there, all the wildflowers, I'm going to bring some more down because it's uh, looking a bit bare, I'm going to chuck some more wildflower seeds down there, but anyway, Back onto this, Lexmoto ZSB. Let's get out, let's have a test ride and crack on with some more mileage and do a different route. So we did the dual carriageway a minute ago. We're gonna find some nice little back lanes to have a ride around and go and have a ride. As always, ZSB, lovely smooth gearbox on these. Absolutely love these bikes great fun to be had and try not to stall it pulling away again like I did with the first one <laughs> right it's been a good week so far had a great day yesterday so gardens coming along nice so first bike and we're going to talk about that on this ride <laughs> And obviously people are like, oh, I'm, I'm 17, five speed box on this one. And I'm 17, I want to get my first bike and all my mates have all got Yamaha, R125s and Honda CBs. And we always say to people, are you looking to stay on a 125? Or are you looking to obviously ride it around for a couple of years, do your CBT? Well, once you've done your CBT, do your Mod 1 and Mod 2. Do you want to obviously go up to a bigger bike? If the answer is no, then obviously spend your money, if you want, on a big brand bike. But if you're looking to do a move on when you get to 18, 19, and you've had enough of hammering around on a 125 at 55, 60 mile an hour, and you want something a little bit faster, Mod 1, Mod 2, or if you're a little bit older, go and do your DAS and step up to a bigger bike. And I would always say, save your money. Get yourself something cheap because you know you're going to throw it down the road in the first couple of years. Get yourself a nice cheap bike to run around in, get the idea of motorcycling and then go and spend your money on something a little bit bigger. So keep your money in the bank. Now for 1869 so under two grand, you can get yourself a ZSB. And these are just bare basic bikes, basic controls, and you can learn all about how to ride a motorcycle correctly. Why he's parked over there? That car's been there for the last four days. Has someone dumped it there or is it someone working in the pumping station? That hasn't moved, which is a bit of a weird one. Now, why is RB hooking the right lane? Because nine times out of ten, this lot goes straight in McDonald's. So which is why you tend to hook the outside lane, unless it's the services. This guy in his car's got absolutely no idea, so I am going to merge in turn, scoot down the outside lane, and cut across. <laughs> Beat you off the lights. Right, so this is a 40 mile an hour road, so I'm slightly over. So 40 mile an hour, he's miles back there, he's doing like 30. We're going to go and do something a little bit different. We're going to go and have a run around some country lanes. Just to show you, obviously, if you happen to live in a town or you want to get out and you want to do a little bit of urban, this is the thing to do. 
Manchester. So we're going to do a left up here and we're going to head for Great Brickhill, which is the next village over from me. And there's some great roads down here. And we can take in the sights of the country lanes. Look at it, look, someone's trimmed all the hedge, doesn't it? Look nice down here. So ZSB riding nicely. So, as I was saying, yes, save your money, put it in the bank, get yourself a big bike. If you want to stay on a 125 for most of your life, then obviously go big brand or get yourself a little bit of upmarket from Lexmoto. Now, the good bit is, I got back on the yard about half an hour ago and the new WK Scramblers are in. I am going to unbox one of those today and we're going to do a uh, quick video of what it looks like. And I have been told they look very, very snazzy, so we shall get a video of that put it up on the Insta, TikTok, Facebook and all that lot. Give all the guys at WK a mention. But there are loads of new bikes that are coming out onto the market. Now, Lexmoto in about a month's time have a load of new bikes coming out and I am looking forward to it. I can't mention what they are. A lot of people know what they are, but obviously we're not allowed as a dealer to name what is coming out at the moment until it's been announced. So, as I say, watch this space. Now, we are going to go down here. We are going to do a right and we are going to head down to the back of Stoke Hammond. My favourite little road, this is called Mill Lane. <coughs> Around the corner we go. And this is one of the back roads, full of potholes and bumps, but it's good for checking, you know, <laughs> these springy suspension on it. I can't feel a single bump, it's like riding on a cushion, it's great. Absolutely love it. The only thing you've got to watch out is obviously cars coming round at the corners. Now cornering, Position yourself, and I'm going to do it on the next couple of corners just to show you. Coming into a right hand corner, drop your speed down in case a car comes and overcuts the corner. Tuck yourself as far to the left, look through the corner, keep looking. If the road starts disappearing and you can't see it, you know the corner's getting tighter. If it starts to show more of the road, you know the corner is evening off and you can get the power. Right hand bend, get yourself out in the middle so you can see right round the corner. So, right hand bend, tuck yourself to the left, left hand bend, get yourself out to the right. That's where you should be. And then just occupy the middle of the road on a single lane. Lovely and clear, no one ever comes down here. Nice steady 40 mile an hour anyway. Car coming, there is loads of room, just means that I have to tuck over a little bit to allow him through. Now these are the worst bits, obviously coming down here, the old mill and the house on stilts. So keep yourself over to the left, can't see through the corner, get your speed down a little bit low, tuck yourself into the corner and back it out, there we go. So, there's Watermill House, he's got a little Watermill, this is the house on stilts just here, look at that, that is nice, I love all these old roads, country roads where you can just take in the same, look at the caravans there, Jesus, and it's not a traveller site, that is actually a caravan park where you can come and uh, chuck your caravan in there for a week or so, and who'd want to come <laughs> come and visit Milton Keynes, yes, at the caravan bar. They've got all the camper vans there. I suppose it's different. <coughs> Sound the horn just to let people know you're coming over the bridge. And then all the people fishing all down there. But look, literally minutes out of Milton Keynes. And it's just, you're in the countryside. Love it, absolutely love it. We're just going to do a load of random back 
back roads, the Lindens, the, yeah, that's the Lindens, the residential care home. That's probably where I'll be in about 10 years time. Little house there, sold. That went really quick. I think that sign was up for about two days and then it's like, sold. Country properties out here are mega, mega money. And we are behind a tractor. Right, we're going to cross over here and then we're going to go and do a little bit more back roads. So we are four miles in, a little bit more to do and then this one's going back and we are going to have a PDI and a final bolt check with me and then final test ride bike is good to go. So we can uh, obviously get another bike out of the workshop this week and one less to push in and out. Right, we are going to do a lefty left here. <laughs> Drop the revs down a little bit, just to get through the corner, get the revs up. And away we go again. Watch out for the bus. Loads of room, Mr. Bus Driver. You can get through there, come on. You get a bus through there. <laughs> right, let's go up the side of this place, which is called the Lakes Estate. Oh. Uh, years ago, back in the 80s, this was like the uh, the London overspill. It was quick houses just rammed up really quick. Just to uh, accommodate the overspill of Milton Keynes. But they've turned it into a really nice estate now. It used to have such a bad reputation, especially Serpentine Court, because obviously the pub there was owned by Johnny Kincaid and he was one of the big famous wrestlers in the days of Big Daddy Giant Haystacks and Kendo Nagasaki, if you remember those. Arby's waffling again. And just across the other side of that fence is my uncle's farm. Yay! Gamers Megabus. Lovely. Right. The famous railway bridge of Newton Lees with the new housing estate on more farmland. We're going to go down here and then head back to the garage, get some mileage up. So, nice steady 40 mile an hour, which is great because that is all I'm allowed on one of these. <coughs> But coming down here, and I think they pulled the dinosaur down there because they knocked it all down, but that is Leon School. Yay! That's where I went to school when I was a youngster. And we used to motocross around the, uh, the pitch there with the bike club. Great fun. And they put railings all the way around to stop you. Is that to stop the uh, people getting into the school or stop the kids getting out? <laughs> you never know. They've changed it all down here. It's a great little country walk. Just the other side of here on the left is a bridge which takes you to the nature reserve. And there are speed bumps here as well. Whee! And down. Blue Lagoon Park and Nature Reserve, just under there. Oh, look at this. And they're building more houses. Well, it looks like it anyway. They're doing something. Good God. Yeah, I think they're building more houses. But there's loads of these masts going up everywhere, these communication masts, because obviously the, uh, the Wi-Fi signal across Milton Keynes is absolutely crap. A nice steady ride back down into Bletchley. By now you should have watched all my videos, you've had a guided tour of Milton Keynes. Now, oh, bungalow, famous bungalow just 
that one there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying which one, but there lives a guy called Eddie Richards. Uh, he was very famous in the 80s for his raves at Camden Palace and Heaven and Sanctuary, I think he did a bit as well. But he was also the DJ for a band called The Shaman. And if you remember that, he's a good, he's a good, he's a he's a good, yeah, that one. Road closed, ignore that. <laughs> because I am going to go down here. And go down here. It's alright, you just walk your buggy down the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the allotments. That is the brook known as the Oozel and that runs through Milton Keynes. And just across there is my mummy's house. Hello, mother. Goodbye, mother. <clears throat> right, let's head back to the garage. We have six miles on the bike. And you can wait. I am coming. Nice steady 30 mile an hour. Back to the garage, coffee time and a smoky break. And then we're going to do the final bulk check on Richard's bike. RB's finished waffling now. We'll get back to the ride. So ZSB is all good. You never expect a ZSB to not be good. These things are literally bomb proof. And just got to say, morning Phil, morning Peter. That is uh, uncle and stepdad that are in their, in their little plots. And... Uh, Got to do flowers again this uh, Saturday afternoon for him because the flowers are looking a bit. Uh, ugh. So I always put fresh flowers on there once a month for my stepdad and my uncle. <coughs> right. Back down through Central Bletchley. The school run is over by now. How many numpty car drivers can we find this morning? He's no idea where it told you. There's always one. RB always attracts the numpty car driver. Yeah, just put your foot on the brakes. And yeah, we're just going to turn there, are we? Okay, thank you. Round the potholes. <coughs> Come on then, Mr. Electric Car, let's go. Past the new leisure centre and its swimming pool. And you can have your first month for free if you want to go and join the gym. No, thank you. I have enough of a workout uh, pushing bikes in and out every day. So, test ride is all good. Get back, we will upload video and try and get these out by tomorrow morning. It is, obviously, don't forget, Wednesday night is the live stream night with the Peaky Biker. I shall try and jump on tonight. Friday night, we are back on the live streams, guys. So, thank you for your support for the last week. We're back on live stream Friday. Uh, Thursday night, we are doing Oakley Bike Club. I am leaving the garage at 6 o'clock. Bang on. So, if you do want to come and join us for a ride up to Oakley, which is about a 25-mile ride, and it's probably going to be about 400 bikes there, weather permitting. If it's good weather, we're going. If it's chucking it down, don't bother. But Oakley Bike Club Thursday, meet at the garage, 6 o'clock. Phil's coming with me. If it's good weather, we're taking the rocket out. I shall be out on Rocky. So it'll be Rocky and the rocket. And with a bit of luck, my new stuff should be arriving this week. SW Motec are sending me some bars. I've got the bags already. 
but SW Motec are sending me my tank bars. Thank you very much, guys. And I've also got loads of other bits coming, so watch out for more mods on the Tiger. But we're all done. We're back on the yard. Until the next time, guys, from RB, be well, ride safe, and as always, it's a big goodbye from me.